Because he, he said he wanted to go into the, um, he was like, I just want to go on the bus. And, oh, I texted you, but it didn't go through. I said I was having a session. You can, you oh, know, I think I got that. that. Oh, because it said on my end that it didn't go through. Okay, I think I, 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 that's where it starts to get blurry. Yeah. Yeah, I did turn it look like. habitat but we are going to be closer once we are coming back from our South Africa habitat well we are very lucky today the weather is perfect to visit the safari park our South Africa habitat the animals that we are going to see here are native to the African savanna. Now that we are talking about the African savanna, in addition to the San Diego Zoo and the Safari Park, our organization has eight different hubs located in six different continents in which we focus our conservation efforts. One of these hubs, it is our savanna hub, located in Africa. Over there we have projects to save species. We are working with the local people communities in African organizations. Working as a team, we can save more species. Look at these little guys to our left. They are gazelles. They are called springboks.
they are the hands back. If you look at their face, they have this black and white coloration that looks like they are wearing a face mask. This coloration helps them to intimidate another antelope. You notice that the coloration is working. The light brown coloration in the top is a camouflage. How? Well, it's the same color of the sand. If we were far from these gazelles, we couldn't be able to see them. The Somali wild ass, they are native to North Africa. If you look at their legs, they have black stripes like the zebras. They are close related to zebras. Probably you haven't seen these animals before, but it's also one of the most endangered species that we have in our park. There are only less than 200 of these remaining in the wild in Africa. But we have a very important project here. We are going to increase their population to potentially release some of these in the wild in a few years. Reproduction of endangered species is one of the strategies that we implement here to save some of these animals from extinction. 18 years to promote the conservation of iconic animals. Now we are going zebra and the most endangered. There are only look at the group of three at the very back. Those are bongos. They have this very elegant coloration. They are usually at the very back. The little ones closer, including the one in the island, they are female Siratonga. And look at the antelopes. They are also surprised, like, why are these bongos out today? Now we are going to see our Maasai giraffes closer. Look at this large animal that looks like cattle, but it's not cattle. They are the eland. It's the largest species of antelope in Africa. Oh wow, look to your right. Look at the oryx, the one with the white coloration and brown neck. It's a beautiful animal. This beautiful animal is native to North Africa. I'm going to find it. Looks like they have a single horn. Well, hunting has been affecting these oryx in Africa. I'm going to tell you something very sad about this oryx. <laughs> well, we saw the baby warbuck. Here we have the baby giraffe. We also have a baby rhino. More than 30,000 babies from different species have been born here at the safari park. Looks like two of them are awake. They're trying to sleep. Not surprise. If you see our lions awake, you are very lucky. Lions, they sleep 20 hours a day. Well, I can see it over there. I 